Welcome back to ICO Review, and this will be the beginning of a very short series of quick videos on individual criteria we use to assess ICOs. And the first one is always going to be the simplest. What is the ICO you're looking at at a glance? What's it all about? So what we want to do here is adopt an objective mindset. Instead of being caught up in hype or FOMO, good marketing and pretty colors, just stop and think to yourself, what is this project and do I think it has a relevant use in today's world or within the next three years if you're thinking long term? So yes, interrupting certain industries, removing real estates from the rental equation, that's a valid use case in my personal opinion. That's something that can be utilized and implemented within the next 12 months. So the same goes for B token being Air, Airbnb-esque, you know, decentralizing that makes sense. Or taking Icon. There are so many tokens and different blockchain technologies in the world. It makes sense to me to try and link them to increase the utilitarianism of all of them combined. So their Icon makes sense. And while you're trying to justify the idea to yourself objectively, start asking yourself what problem does does this project aim to solve? You know, so does it solve a real world issue? So taking Icon, solving the interconnectivity of multiple blockchains, that might be a problem right now, but as we increase in blockchain saturation, it makes sense to be able to swap and change and operate on multiple blockchains. And again, uh, transaction speed is a real world issue right now. So anything that proposes to solve transaction speed issues, that in my mind solves a real world problem as well. But when we're looking at these projects, think to yourself, do we need the blockchain to solve these problems? Is it absolutely necessary to be on the blockchain to solve these problems? I received an email recently about a blockchain e-commerce store that sells e-books. I'm not convinced that we need to be dealing in crypto just for e-books. So these are just some quick things for you to consider before deciding to dive deeper into an ICO. Because the next thing that we need to look at really is the white paper. And that's a really in-depth thing to dive into, you know, as opposed to taking a general glance and going, yes, this is good. No, this obje is objectively not good. The white paper will be a long process. It's going to be a little bit more arduous for most people. Also consider the stage of development, especially if we're dealing with a utility token that, that powers a website, an application or a platform. We want to know what stage of development those platforms are in and potentially get our hands on the platform to receive a demonstration, mainly because that gives you a better idea of what you're buying into. And also it is a bit of an indicator as to the amount of effort and dedication that has already gone into the platform itself. But anyway, the project and the ICO criteria at a glance, very, very quick and easy to ascertain, figure out whether you want to go deeper or quickly move on to the next ICO. The next video we're looking at will be the white paper. So that'll be a little bit longer, a little bit in depth. I have been your crypto enthusiast and I'll see you in the next video.